So we're going to head now to Just Shop. It's in a neighboring suburb, but it's still going to take me about a good 45 minutes, give or take, which that's usually without traffic. So if there's traffic, it'll be a little longer. I personally haven't driven the car very much, and I haven't because I didn't want to put any rock chips in the front bumper like I had on my FK8 Type R. Today's goal is to get the whole front end, well, not the whole front end, but the whole front bumper area, the domain areas that are exposed to rock chips, or any debris or anything that could put any damage on the paint or the bumper itself. We wanna get that fully PPF'd. So we're taking it over there. He's gonna take care of that for us. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna have him give a full breakdown of kind of the process, what's he using, uh, just to give you guys a little more insight, maybe things that you may wanna buy for your own car so you can do it at home. So we're gonna head there now. We'll see you guys when we get there, all right? Finally made it to Jeff's shop. It took me about 40 minutes, but we're here to take a peek. Here we are at JJ's detailing, everybody. And compliments of bringing to Jeff. If you guys ever want to get your detail work here, look him up. He's out in Orland Park, but you get a rental Tesla. Look at that. Look at that. All right, guys. So we finally got it in the bay. And we're here with Jeff, who's the owner at JJ's Detailing, and he's gonna run us through exactly what we're gonna get done on this car. So we're gonna start off doing uh, basically what we call our track package. Okay. It's gonna be the Expel paint protection film. We're gonna get all the high impact areas on this vehicle, which is basically gonna include the entire front clip. Uh, so basically you get your front bumper, your headlights, your fenders, the hood. Um, and we're also gonna include doing your mirrors, the A-pillars and roof strip, as well as the rocker panels because this is the wide body, so you're gonna end up seeing, um, they kick out further, so you're gonna get a lot more impact of your daily drivability. You can actually take a look already here. Um, obviously the vehicle's dirty, we haven't prepped it or any of that, but you see all the dirt and grime, so that's definitely uh -huh. gonna be a high impact area on these wide body flares. And you, when you roll film like that, instead of doing the whole doors, is that, you just cut it from your printer at the other bay or do you have to hand is that just a more manual process so there's going to be a kind of a combination of the two um, we do a plotter cut so we'll use our software um, expel has a program called dap um, we'll kind of modify their kits so that we hide as much as possible and basically we're able to roll these edges so that you don't have exposed edges to the film obviously right. you'll still see a little bit of it because it is white so the edges do tend to get a little bit dirty but as long as it's properly maintained, which I'll walk you through that process as well, we'll hide as much as we can on that. And how long does it, after you wrap it, how long does that typically last? Is there a time frame where you have to replace it? So the film has a 10 year manufacturer warranty that basically covers against any kind of delaminating, yellowing, fading, any of that type of stuff. Uh, but it is meant to be removed and replaced. So we're going to basically replace it as necessary. So if you're gonna drive the car 30,000 miles a year, you get a rock chip, we'll remove that piece, put a new piece on. So nice. Oh, well, that's good to know, man. All right, well, I say we just get started here. All right, guys, so Jeff has just finished cleaning the rims. He's got the car wet and is about to explain what the next part of this process looks like. All right, so we're gonna have uh, PDP's iron melt. This is basically an iron decontamination. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna break down any kind of contamination, especially on a white car, you'll see those light, light little orange specks okay. in the vehicle's paint. 
Even though the car is brand new, it has a life before ownership of even though you're the first owner. I have this iron melt in a IK pump sprayer. We spray the entire car right before we foam wash it and let it do its thing. And now the, with the iron that you're holding in your hand, that's part of your new product line, isn't it? That is correct. So we have a new company. It's a detail supply company, which we have a variation of different products. Uh, detail Supply Shack, which is located in our Unit H shop. Uh I'll be sure to drop the, the website and a hashtag down in the video for you guys. If anybody's interested, check out all the products. And for those that don't have what you're holding in your hand right now with the gun, you could just simply, it's a spray on applicator, right? There's nothing. That is correct. You can use just your normal uh, Zep bottle from Home Depot. Um, you can get that really anywhere. Um, otherwise, if you use a lot like we do, you can grab a two and a half gallon IK pump sprayer from us as well. Nice. So what's gonna happen here, guys, is a pretty cool transition, especially you're gonna see it on a white car, the most noticeable of all paint. But this applicator that he's putting on here is gonna start hitting at all the iron on the paint and removing it. So what you're gonna see is that eventually it's just gonna start changing colors. So once it starts changing colors, I'll be sure to, uh, Get as good there you go oh yeah look at that and this is a brand new 2024 car yeah this is all ph neutral it's all Dude. safe for the clear coat i didn't even let the dealer wash it so this is what you guys are saying this is why it's so important to get your cars detailed especially if you have newer ones right you want to take care of that paint you want to protect the car and this is the best way to do it right. here's a perfect example guys of what the what the spray does Take all the iron out of the paint, baby. But this is the transition, right? You spray it on, you wait for the application to look like this. And once it looks like this, then you can keep going. That thing's badass. I want one of those. <laughs> I really want one of those. <laughs> Oh man, just let me know so I can buy one. Guys, you may not believe it, but that one towel will dry this whole car. You could dry at least maybe like 10 cars with this towel and you don't have to do anything. This is just after the wash. Look how quickly it dries it all though. Nothing left. No streaks, no wringing it out? No, nothing. So here we have it already washed and Jeff will start getting this prepping process done and lay down film. I'll let him explain that. But 
the other reason I really like coming here a lot is because Jeff never has a shortage of cool cars that he's working on. So, guys, it's not just, you know, the import scene or the SUVs and trucks that Jeff does. He does very, very upscaled cars. And this is just one example of many of Lambos he's done and other vehicles he's worked on. But check this thing out, dude. This is goals. This is, uh, this is why we start this channel, right? To eventually get to a point where we could get something like this. That's this beautiful. So this is the machine that makes all the magic, right, Jeff? Yes, sir. Jeff has pulled up my car on a computer, ran what he's actually gonna wrap, and then this here printer cuts it all out for us. You guys are about to see how easy this makes it. Oh, you're good, man. Our, our personal photographers joined. This is Lucio, guys. I'll be sure to drop his IG handle too for you all. Dude, this is nice. You like it, brother? Oh man, yeah. It's like your first initial reaction, dude. Ooh. First time you ever seen one in person. For real? I haven't yeah. seen one in person. Yep. This is really nice. Thanks, man. Thank you, dude. We'll put this against his Corvette. Oh, wait, dude. Stop. Oh. <laughs> oh, we'll just take the we'll take the trans and dip out of this Porsche, dude. There we go. Oh, I don't know about this. This and this. Dude, I was, I was, I was, I was saying this is the goals right here, man. Ooh. Like eventually one day. Look at these cameras. Dude, that whole car is sexy. You can open it, dude. It's all open. See, I mean, compared to the one is it the previous gen? Well, like the previous gen Acura or the Type R? The Type R. This is, this is much too fine. Yeah, like I feel like it's the, uh, it's like the, the big brother, the adult version of the, the Civic Type R, right? FL5 is that track focus one, and this is more daily driver, but you still get all the, like, the good bits out of it. Right. I love it. Thank you, man. You know, the one thing I personally like that's missing is like, like here. I would, that's what I, said, I told Jeff earlier. I wish they would have put the fog lights. And what's really driving me nuts that I want desperately is the, the old school Integra, the ITR wing, the big one. Oh, well. Instead of that duck bill, I, I'm not a fan of the duck bill. Do you? Yeah. I can go either way, but that is the iconic. Like, that is an iconic thing. Mm -hmm. Even my RSX had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like that. I mean, it was better than like yeah. Like uh, pop. Oh yeah. Color match and everything. Or carbon, yeah. full carbon. Or like the top being carbon and then the sides being white. All painted, that'd be dope. That'd be nice. I was telling Jeff since uh, uh, I watch a lot of TJ Hunt videos and he has his own, he has his own company where he makes his own body kits. Yes. I was like, I'm gonna DM him and see if he makes a <laughs> wing for the Type R, or for the Type S. Like the old school ITR wing though, I want that version. Is there I, I could no, get. Oh, where? Are you gonna point it out to me? Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. But sure, from the north side. Too. Uh, uh, yeah, Jeff, Jeff is saying he found a rock chip here. I don't know where it's at, but he ain't telling me, so <laughs> I don't freak out or my OCD don't drive me nuts. Mm -hmm. He's gonna get the whole. Get the, get it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, so I I initially went to the dealer to get or to look at a uh, S two thousand. Oh, they had a black S2000 with 25,000 original miles, 05. Mm -hmm. And I went in the dealer and they had uh, a silver one, but with all the carbon fiber bits on it. And mm -hmm. I was like, yo, is that car for sale? And he was like, let me go check. He went to check, it was sold. It just had sold that morning. Then they turned it on to move it, right? And I heard that sound that it made. I was like, ah, oh, this is bad. And so I, I, man, I told the guy, I was like, look, man, I'm sorry, dude, but I want that Integra now. And I started looking at other dealers in the area called uh, the Acura on Westmont. 
because they had the oh same they had the same spec they had a white with red interior but they wanted like 67 68 grand i was like no way dude and then i called this one they were like we have we have some in the showroom floor i was like all right so i went there So this is the Type S. There's no package with it, but you you could just get accessories with it, like carbon fire rear deck lid. Uh, instead of that emblem being that chrome finish, you could get it in black. Not the Type S one, but the Acura one. Yeah, you could get it illuminated like Mercedes. Like they have things like that. Uh, Alcantara steering wheel. The salesman was like, I have one more that just came here this morning that they're putting tint on it, and I was like, Is it the same one as that black one with the red interior? He's like, yeah, and white though. And I was like, is it gonna be the price as that black one? And he was like, let me let me talk to them and we'll see. And sure enough, man, we got it down. But like I said, man, it was gonna be the one that starts off the channel. So we had to make the move. Precision cuts. No, can't even see it. Sheesh. Lucio got this massive, let me pan out real fast so you can see it. He's going on a big camping trip and he got this crazy looking tent. And then, man, I opened this thing up, dude. I want to see this. Damn, you got to do all that already? Oh, that's too much work, bro. That's not a lot of work. Four by four Colorado? Yep. That's the, the company, I presume? pretty simple for what it is especially because you could drive on it there you go oh that's how it does that's it? it that's badass that is pretty badass yeah, dang and the you said mattresses in there and everything though no? yeah it's already in there dang so basically all you bring is your pillow and your blanket and a and a gun dude in case I'll, a, a bear or something <laughs> screw so that got, like a screen on the front so like no bugs and stuff yep okay that's badass that you is climb on Nah, I'll, I'll trip and fall and screw that. No, 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 here, I'll, I'll, I'll record. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now nothing goes, no flies go in. So can you um, drive with I that? I don't have up? the battery pack, but there's LEDs in the, the tent as well. That's wow. cool. Oh, okay. Getting to the, really the whole stretch here, guys. Heating up the film so he can tuck in the corners. But everything's been wrapped. At least the front end. Which is the most important piece here. There you go, guys. It's all done. You can't even tell that there's anything on this. The man, the myth, the legend himself. Thanks, Jeff. So what do you do when you have a friend that's a professional photographer and then the other one owns his detailing business? Well, you support your friends, so you get one guy to do your PPF wrap, and you call your other friend to take the professional photos. Teamwork, baby, makes the dream work. 